with your eyes open or closed, find a posture that supports you in being present and relaxed and alert. Maybe sitting up a little straighter, planting yourself, taking your seat. perhaps with a quality of a gentleness toward yourself, a kindness toward yourself, combined with a certain self-respect and dignity. You have the right to be here in this time, in this place. Take some moments to check in with yourself. Surveying your body from your feet to your head. The front of your body and the back of your body. Opening to a calming that's not about resisting anything. It's more about letting go. Perhaps especially as you exhale. Allowing your awareness to steady, staying present as experiences pass through awareness, sounds, thoughts, sensations. As Pema Chodron puts it, You are the sky. Everything else is just the weather. So in this meditation, I will touch on what I consider to be the three primary modes of practice, three ways that we can engage our minds skillfully. We'll begin with the foundation of them all, which is simply being with what we're experiencing without trying to change it. So I'll be quiet for some moments as you take this time to be in touch with yourself without making it good or bad, right or wrong. What are some of the things that you are feeling now? What are some of the things you are thinking? What are some of the sensations in your body? What are some of the things you are wanting? Seeing if you can simply be mindful of these aspects of your experience right now.
you can practice what's called noting, in which you simply describe in a word or a phrase or even with a picture, an image, perhaps a sound or a, a bit of music in your mind, different aspects of your experience, such as tension, softening, anger, worry, releasing. So I'll be quiet for some moments as you explore what it's like to accept and allow all of who you are as what it is. No praise, no blame. Simply what it's like to be you. And even see if you can be aware of the deeper layers in your experience, such as the hurt underneath anger, or perhaps a deeper sense of peacefulness or stillness that underlies some mental agitation. Letting yourself be not resisting anything you're feeling, letting it flow, letting it be. You might like to say softly inside your mind, I accept something. I accept this pain. I accept that I'm angry about something. I accept myself. or simply have a feeling of acceptance. In life, with three, these three ways of practice, letting be, letting go, and letting in, there's a natural rhythm to them, and we can take as long as we like with each one. Since this meditation um, is within a fixed period of time, 
I'm going to move on to letting go. But just know, of course, that you can take more time with letting be. In terms of letting go, we're not trying to push anything away. We're not angry or mad at anything we're feeling. We're simply following a kind of intuitive wisdom that releases, that lets go of tension in the body, places of holding, places of resistance. We let go of certain feelings, we let them flow. Perhaps imagining certain feelings flowing out as we exhale, maybe imagining them as perhaps a kind of dusty cloud leaving us. We let go of thoughts, we let go of views, beliefs that we can recognize are partial, untrue, unhelpful letting go of thoughts, getting some breathing room between us and them. And we can let go of certain desires, graspings, resistings, clingings, cravings. This aspect of practice can be as simple as setting the intention of letting go and then allowing that intention to unfold in natural and healthy ways. Letting go. in support of letting go. It might help to explore certain words or phrases, such as releasing, abandoning, perhaps a kind of sound in your mind, even out loud, like whoosh. (sighs) 
it might also help to allow a kind of not knowing. Don't know. Resting in not knowing can help us let go. And a particularly important kind of letting go is letting go of excessive preoccupations with oneself, as a self. Being attached to certain perspectives, the feeling of I or me, self-referential preoccupations, and let go of that. The sense of my position, my standing, wanting to impress others, letting it go. As you let go, there might be a growing sense of spaciousness or simply a a space, a clearing. an emptying of the cup in which what mainly remains is an awareness abiding
And then in the third aspect of practice, letting in, there is a receiving into the space that's been created by releasing. And here we naturally open to what intuitively feels beneficial, skillful, wise, and wholesome. Which sometimes seems related to or matched to what we've released. For example, if some of what we've been releasing is agitation, being revved up, we can let in a sense of calming. If we've released a sense of being overwhelmed or dismayed, we can let in a sense of our own strength, our own grit and fortitude that can keep taking one good step after another. If we've released anger, we can let in love. So I'll be quiet for a bit simply you open to in gentle ways without strain or striving. Ah, what wants to dwell within you? What peacefulness? What contentment? What love wants to dwell in you? perhaps a knowing, perhaps an insight, perhaps simply a feeling in your body that is increasingly establishing itself in you and you in it. If you like, simply pick one thing perhaps the sense of calm strength or compassion or thankfulness for what you have received and then simply dwell there for the remainder of this meditation.
Perhaps you'd like to let in something that's been important for me, which is a combination of calm and compassion. The feeling of the two together in whatever way is real for you. As we finish, and I ring the bell, having a sense of whatever you've cultivated here, whatever you've let in, sinking into you, becoming you as you sink into it. 